Okay then my friends, in the last lesson we saw how Copilot made a working light and dark mode using a context provider and it worked. However, it didn't structure the code and the files in a way that I wanted it to. For example, it placed the context file directly inside the app folder and it didn't make a custom hook to access that context. It also didn't make the theme toggle button with an icon which I would have preferred. And that's normal when you're using AI, right? It doesn't know your coding preferences or your standards by default or your mind or your thoughts. You have to explicitly tell the model by using more detailed prompts and adding more explicit context. So for example, if I wanted the provider file to live inside a context folder, I could explicitly tell Copilot that in my prompts. And the same would be true if I wanted to make a custom hook to access that context, or if I wanted to use a specific icon or icon library for the toggle button. So all of that information could go into the prompt and for any future features, I could be really, really detailed and explicit too to keep the AI on track and firmly within my own coding style, preferences and standards. However, an easier and better way to do this, in my opinion, is to add a custom Copilot instructions file to the project, which then gets added as context to every single session you have with Copilot. So in that file, you can outline some global rules, styles and project specifications to tell Copilot how you would like the AI to work with your project. For example, you can tell it what styling tools and libraries to work with. You could outline a file structure to tell the AI where to place certain files. You can tell it how to manage state within components or how to handle routing. All of these things and more you can add to your Copilot instructions file which then acts as a development guide or a mini documentation if you like for the AI to follow when it's working with you. So then let's add a new Copilot instructions file and we do this by first of all making a new folder in the root of the project called dot github and then inside that folder we'll make the file which needs to be called Copilot hyphen instructions dot md. So this is a markdown file and inside it we can use markdown and natural language to instruct Copilot how to work within this project. Now, if you don't know how to write Markdown, it's very easy to learn and you can check out the GitHub documentation for a guide on how to do it. So I will leave this link down below the video. But if you prefer, you could have something like ChatGPT to generate an instructions file for you. And you could do that by asking it something like, I'm making a next application with GitHub Copilot and I want you to make a Copilot instructions.md file I can use to help guide it. Ask me a series of questions one at a time about the project, styling, file structure and coding preferences and then make the file for me. And this little bit right here, this one at a time bit is an important bit to throw in. Otherwise, you're gonna get bombarded with questions all at once. Anyway, if you ask that or some kind of variation of that, it's gonna go through a series of questions with you. And at the end of it, it's gonna spit out a markdown file that you can grab and update if you need to. So I've already got my Copilot instructions filled out and it's pretty basic. I just give a little project overview right here to say this is a Next.js 13 web application for a shopping list where users can add and delete items from it. Users can also add items to a favorite list, which is separate list of favorite items, which can be bulk imported into the current shopping list. Now, obviously the application isn't made yet, but this is what we're going for. I give it some reference for the folder structure. So forward slash app. And then we have a layout and a page.tsx file for each route as needed. Then we have a forward slash context folder that contains the context provider files. And then we have a hooks folder, we have a components folder, etc. We have some development conventions. So we're going to use TypeScript. We use functional components for React. And we avoid um, client components where possible and always use server components. For state management, we're going to be using context for global states and for local state, we'll be using hooks like use states. And down here, we have some conventions for file naming and APIs, etc. Then we have some styling guidelines. So we say we're going to use Tailwind CSS. We're going to create some reusable styles, uh, component styling. Um, we want it to be consistent. And then we have a little note about light and dark mode. So style new elements and components to support both light and dark modes. That's always useful. Otherwise, sometimes it just creates the styles for the light mode or the dark mode and forgets about the other. And then I come back to toggling the light and dark modes and find things don't look good. Then for colors and icons, we have a primary color, secondary color, uh, text color. Then we have icons. And I've said use this library for the icons. And by the way, you don't have to do things like this. Um, you could define these in like your 
config for Tailwind and the AI would be clever enough to pick that up. I'd just like to add them here for that extra clarity. And then just some additional notes down here as well. All right, so this thing, we're gonna see what that is for later, probably in a couple of tutorials time. But for now, I think this is good enough. Okay, so now we've got the Copilot instructions set up. I wanna use the exact same prompt as before to add a working light and dark theme and see how it approaches it this time. Because now that Copilot instructions file is gonna get sent with the prompt automatically as context by Copilot. And it should make the feature now according to my instructions for this project. So let's add this in and then click on send. And just a quick one, I've resent this because the Gemini model wasn't responding. I've just switched it to Claude Sonnet 3.7 and you can see already it says it's used one reference and that is the Copilot instructions file. So this automatically got added to the chat as context. We didn't have to manually add it in. All right, so it's made all these changes and if we open this up, you can see that now we've got the context outside of the app folder. We also have the components right here as well. And inside here, if we go to page, we can see somewhere, hopefully we've got some new content. So it's added in a header for us, which I think the theme toggle button will be in. It's there, yeah, cool. So it's made that component as well. Let's try this out in a browser. All right, so we can see the header. It's nicely added a little title for me in the header as well, and an icon over there using the package I specified in the Copilot instructions. We've got this for the lights. And dark mode toggle, yeah, that's all working, looking pretty good, awesome. So now I'm gonna keep all these changes and we'll cross off these files. And the only thing I've noticed that it's not done, which I asked for inside the Copilot instructions, is that it's not created a custom hook for using the theme context. So if we take a look inside the layout file, I think we use the theme provider right here. Okay, so inside the header then, it must be, do we use the context? No, we don't. Okay, it's inside the theme toggle. All right, so right here, oh, we do use custom hook, use theme. So now let's open up that provider or the theme context file and see if it's defined in here. Do we have a custom hook? Okay, so it's put the custom hook inside this context file, which is fine. But what I prefer to do is have those in their own file. It's okay for now, I will keep it. We could edit that down here by just telling them to put it in its own file inside a hooks folder. In fact, we will do that. Let's say, could you place the use theme hook in its own file inside a hooks folder? Okay, so it looks like it's done all the work. We now have a hooks folder with use theme inside it. And inside the context, it wants to delete this. Let's just have a look in a browser. So if we click on this over here, yeah, everything is still working, awesome. So then I'm gonna accept all of those changes now because I like how it's made the feature this time and hopefully for any additional features we add to the site, it's gonna to adhere to those instructions as well. Now, you can also make additional instruction files which get conditionally added as context to certain types of files and those instructions would be passed as context whenever changes are made to those types of files, for example, .tsx files. To do that, you can come to the settings cog up here above the chat window and you can choose instructions. From there, we can choose to make a new instruction file and we'll select the first option to tell Copilot to place the file inside an instructions folder in the GitHub folder. It's gonna ask you for a name for this file and it should match the extension to the files you want it to apply to, for example, TSX. Once you've done that, it's gonna make that new instruction file for you and you can update it as you see fit. Now, I'm not gonna dive into the specifics of these additional instruction files in this course, but I will make an in-detail video about it in the future. Next up, though, we're gonna talk about using version control locally with Copilot.